The future of a new immigration law in our state is now in the hands of a federal appeals court. The governor signed the law, but it was blocked before it could take effect in July. KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel listened in on the arguments made in the courtroom today. Todd? Well, Stacey, it happened in the federal courthouse in St. Louis. Opponents of the Iowa immigration law say it is clearly unconstitutional, but attorneys for the state say Iowa has a legal right to protect its citizens. The controversial immigration law has been the subject of protests when it first passed the state legislature. The law would let state law enforcement file charges against people who have outstanding deportation orders or who were previously denied entry into the U.S. Once in custody, those migrants could either leave the U.S. or be prosecuted, potentially facing time in prison before deportation. There are no cameras allowed in federal courts, but we listened in on the hearing. An attorney for the state of Iowa told three St. Louis federal appeals judges, quote, Ultimately, that's what this comes down to. The state of Iowa listened to the various cries from across the political spectrum. President Biden described what's going on as a crisis. There is clearly a problem, and it's a problem that affects Iowa. Iowa Solicitor General Eric Wesson went on to say, quote, it's proper to allow state laws to go into effect even if there's a potential for conflict. On the other side, Emma Winger from the American Immigration Council told the judges the Supreme Court has said, quote, the control of core immigration functions of entry and removal is inherent to federal sovereignty. After the hearing, Winger told us the Iowa law is simply unconstitutional. We have a law that threatens to harm Iowans with deep ties to the community, but also spread chaos. And we reached out to the governor's office. They said they would wait for the federal appeals court ruling before making any comment, and that could take three to six months. Stacey. Todd, thank you.